What's up guys? So I'm just gonna give you an all around uh, update on everything. So we've been doing a lot, a lot of work in the garage just to try and get it to be warm uh, or even in the summer, you know, cool with the AC. Uh, so basically all of the panels are up for the most part. So everything's up all the way throughout, besides right above the garage, just have to do that. That little last piece, but everything else is up. Uh, there's still like a huge mess to clean up. This is all like the cut pieces that obviously I'm not gonna use, but it's been raining for like the last two weeks, so we haven't been able to make it out to the actual dump to take it there, take that, and then whatever else we have, you know, whatever crap we have in here that needs to go. There's a lot. Uh, so what's left garage-wise, I ended up ordering two large industrial fans to hang because I've noticed uh, obviously heat rises so if you're up in like the scaffolding it's like super hot up there so basically I just got the fans to help push the air back down and you know circulate it I have like a little box fan that I've been using I kept it in the back of the garage and just been pointing it up and that's really been helping a lot I mean it'll knock the if it's like 40 out I can get it up to 16 here just with that little fan uh, but yeah, so I got two large fans. Hopefully it'll be much better. And it'll help out in the, they're reversible, so it'll help out in the summer as well. And then, you know, worst comes to worst, I, I want to put, so it, the actual pellet stove just doesn't put out enough heat needed for the garage. So I want to actually get a, like, 32,000 BTU mini split and put it in here and see what that does. But the way the weather's going right now, it's pretty wacko. It's been like 50 for like the last two weeks or whatever. So I don't know if it's gonna get cold anymore and I don't wanna spend the money to put it up if it's not gonna be, you know, cold. And then, you know, you at least got two months before you actually get any kind of extreme heat. Uh, so once the actual extreme heat comes, then I'll put the mini split in and have AC in here, you know? That, at least that's the game plan. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's the update on the garage. Uh, I gotta put the fans up. Uh, I gotta seal some of these holes with like expanding foam just to help it out, you know, seal it up a little bit better. I want to paint all the panels. I just haven't decided if I'm going to like tape all the edges off and you know, mud it and sand it or whatever because that sounds terrible. Uh, but at the same time, you know, we put so much effort into it, maybe it's worth it to make it look as clean as possible. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe somebody knows a little bit better method of uh, accomplishing that before we paint it. Because once we paint in here, it'll be super bright. It'll look bigger. It'll just be all around better. But that's all I have on the actual garage for now. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the E30. The LS swap for that. Let's get an update on that. And I'm in the process of spending tremendous amounts of money. Uh, we've been buying parts for it since we've been busy with the garage. We haven't really actually done anything physical with it. Besides, just the other day, we pushed it back and put it in the lift. So now we can actually start taking it apart. But we'll go over the parts that we have been grabbing since the last video. You can start off with uh, the engine mounts here. So these things are pretty baller looking mounts. I'm going to end up power coating them just to be safe, unfortunately, because uh, the welds, they all look pretty good and be pretty awesome to leave it exposed, but uh, it's steel, so it'll rust. But I got them from a guy named Alex. Uh, it's pretty funny because the way he shipped these things, they could go through a tornado and be perfectly fine. And it's even funnier because I saw somebody else basically say the same thing. They got the mounts from him as well. So it was just funny to see because that's exactly what I thought. I asked the guy, like, what do you do for a living? You just ship parts, or Because it was like, mint so i have a brand new booster here from a uh volkswagen dasher i think it is uh it's 19 dual 19 millimeters uh cylinder uh that's what was recommended by the guy who does massive brakes for e stock e30 brakes because for the time being they'll be stock and then i ended up finding a guy who was selling a massive kit with the adapter and then an already modified pedal. So I grabbed that 
I mean, it's easier if somebody else already did it than me to do the same thing. Engine mounts, I grabbed uh, Rev Shift ADA. Since it's gonna be the wife's car, uh, she probably doesn't want anything solid to rattle her head out. Uh, but yeah, I picked those up. Uh, and then we have some LS fuel rails. These things look pretty good. I'm excited to actually put them in and see what they look like on the car. But they're pretty baller looking. Also, shout out to uh, Drift HQ, those guys over there. They helped me order a lot of these parts. Uh, I just asked them, you know, hey, can what what kind of parts could you get me? Just because I can do all one order, it'd be much easier. And plus, if it helps them out at all, you know, I'm all about helping somebody else out. So they ordered me a uh, a front sump uh, pickup tube, and then we ordered the Can Canton. Uh, race pan. This thing looks pretty amazing too. Uh, just like has all these baffles in it. Has like good weight to it. I don't know. It just looks pretty cool. I also got the. I saw a lot of people talking about the oil pan studs, so I grabbed those as well, just to kind of help with the install, I guess. Uh, and then just the adapter plate that connects to the pan and does. Uh, well, I think it's dash ten line. That way I can run a remote oil filter. Oh, uh, what else? Another shout out to Drift HQ. They actually helped me out. I ended up going with the CX Racing setup here, the manifolds. I asked originally like, hey, will they just sell the manifolds? Cause they don't have it listed on their, their website and they will. Uh, and once they actually gave me the pricing for it, I ended up just getting the whole the whole kit with the oval piping and stuff. Cause I was gonna do uh, true duels with an X pipe. But then when I actually looked at like the math of it, it really probably wasn't worth it. I mean, the, just the headers alone were like, I wanna say 750. And then to get the rest of the kit for the exhaust was like 940 or shipped. So obviously it was like, whatever, just get it. That would save me time and money getting the actual exhaust made. I mean, I still have to finish some of it, but it's much further along than if I was to just do it, you know, dump it out of the headers. But that's all the parts that I have sitting here for now. Uh, we still have more to actually get. So I think this weekend we're going to actually go and grab the DCT trans. Uh, I'm still waiting for a couple people. There's like two different groups of people that are supposed to be coming out with the LS swap kit, you know, plug and play or whatever. So I'm still waiting for one of those that could drop out or drop so I could buy it and just be ready. Cause I like to have everything, but I think at this point we're just ready to start on the actual car, start taking it apart. That's the easy part, obviously is taking it apart and start assembling the motor. Cause we got to put the, the valve springs in it, uh, the cam, put the pan on. There's a lot to do, but I'm excited to get it started. And I mean, that's the update on the E30 for now. Let's do an update on the E36. Uh, almost absolutely nothing's been changed since the last video. Uh, car wise, I haven't touched it at all. But since the weather is getting nicer, uh, I think I, that's like maybe 15 days or something like that before the first test and tune. So I think I should probably start messing with it and putting it back together and putting in the new DSS axles in there and all that fancy stuff. I'm actually gonna end up grabbing uh, a set of Viking coilovers, double adjustables. Uh, so I can put that in the car and sell my BC stuff. I mean, they're just like full max tight, so there's nothing really more I can use them for, but I prefer to get some double adjustables to see what I can do. Maybe I can get the 60 foot better, I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> I don't know if I've talked about it yet, but I ended up getting uh, pro bracket radials for the car as well. So I need to get those swapped on to my weld wheels. I still have the, what the hell are these called? The Ford Stars on here from Impact for, uh, you know, street driving. Uh, yeah, so I picked up the Pro Bracket Radials. Those are, I guess, Radials is the, the preferred tire for an auto car. 
So who knows, maybe the 60 will get better just with tire. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but I have to swap those on and, you know, just get the car ready because uh, the season's coming up pretty quick and I haven't touched it. All right, I just want to thank you guys for, you know, following the channel so far. I have a few people that hit me up every now and then like, hey, when's the next video coming out? Hey, when's the next video coming out? Uh, just been super busy with everything. Plus, it's winter, so it's not quite as fun to be out here working on anything. Uh, so, like I said, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys like and follow. Or like and subscribe, sorry. You can like and follow my Instagram, too.